Long ago, the realms were embroiled in calamity. The lords had led their armies into glorious battle. Their tactics were brutal yet effective. And in the end, three would emerge victorious. Their lands now conquered, they set a truce upon the hill, erected the finest palace, and now they don't do much of anything, to be honest. So then the doctor says to the amnesiac, your name is Sherman. <laughs> and then the amnesiac goes, well, I'm not sure, man. Right. <laughs> and, and then the doctor says, no, but your name is Sherman. <laughs> and the amnesiac goes, but I'm not sure, man. <laughs> okay. Doctor's like, no, no, I'm telling you, your name is Sherman. So what's the, is that the punchline? Does the joke just keep repeating? Yeah, yeah, the joke just repeats endlessly like that. But, but do you get it? I think we get it, man. The doctor's telling him his name is Sherman, but, but the patient can't remember. the amnesiac is like, yeah. he's an amnesiac. Did you make that joke up yourself, man? No, well, that, it doesn't matter. Good point. Why are we sitting here anyway? We're waiting for dinner, man, and it's taking forever. Yes, the chef usually isn't this delayed. Yeah, if he doesn't have the food out here in the next five minutes, I'm throwing him in the dungeon. You don't even eat food. Yeah, I do. I just don't have to. Ugh, I'm going to go see what's going on in there. How does that work anyway? I mean, like, you chew the food, and then where does it go? Food goes in my mouth, stupid. No, I know, dummy, but after you've chewed the food, yeah. and you you have to swallow the food, Okay. so then where- Well, the chef is gone. There's nobody in there. What? Our chef quit on us? It appears so. Ah, crap. How fast can we get another one? Not that fast. Uh, does anyone here know how to cook? All right, so the oven is preheated. Yep. We just put this in for 15 minutes. Okay. Now we play the waiting game. You guys smell burning? How are you smelling burning? With my nose, doofus. No, I mean you. You have no nose. Oh, oh wait a second. Wait, oh, it is burning. How, how, how did we burn this already? Maybe if you turn one of the dials, like, turn, turn this. No, no, wait a second. Oh. Congrats, dude. You blew up dinner. Why is it anytime I try to make food, something explodes? Uh, I think it's high time we learned how to cook. Oh my god, look at all these losers. Why don't we just get another chef? I told you, it would serve us well to stop relying on our staff for everything. Besides, no one will answer the ad. Welcome to cooking class, everybody. I am your instructor, Pop Gang Wolf. Pop Gang Wolf? <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Huh? Oh, I get it. You're laughing at my Austrian <laughs> accent, aren't you? What? No, I'm laughing at your stupid hat. What kind of hat is that? Dude, all chefs have a hat like that. All chefs have a hat like that? What, what is this, the Vatican? You mean I'm going to have to wear a goofy hat? Everyone, find your station for your first exercise. We just want to see where you are in your cooking journey. Ah, yes, that's very, very good, Marsha. Very nice souffle. Ah, yes, uh, but uh, what do we have here? Oh, you know, it's a uh, maiden ice cream sundae banana split thing. Was that the assignment? No, the, the assignment was... Hard. Well, I could almost accept it if it weren't for all the feathers. Yeah, that, that, uh, that, that tends to happen. Oh, what was that? Yeah, sorry there, Pop Gang. I blew up part of your kitchen. But your assignment was just mac and cheese. Yeah, well, you know, that, that milk bubbled up real quick. And I don't know, I mean, was it 2% or... Does this happen with everything you try to cook? No. Here, make a bowl of cereal. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey! Yours looks very good. It does? The tortellini looks marvelous. And you even did a side salad. Gotta get my greens, bro. You see, class, just follow the instructions. It's no trouble. There were instructions? Oh, that's what these are. I could almost declare you best of class. Sweet. Now that is what I call chicken parmesan. Thanks, bro. Maybe you're the best of class. Hey, come on. My tortellini took way more effort. Huh, I doubt it. I had to hand crush my tomatoes to make the sauce. I can tell both of you have a bright restaurant future ahead of you. Or at least the cover of yet another godforsaken cooking book at Barnes & Noble nobody needs. Well, how about that? He actually has a talent for this. Cook off. Cook off. Cook off. Cook off. Cook off. Alright, it sounds like the class wants an old-fashioned cook off. Hey, I'm down for the challenge of this guy is. Bro, I'll bake you worse than your suntan. Great idea. The cook off should be a baking challenge. Well, now hold on. We paid for this class to learn, and everyone would get a piece of their cake when it's done. But that's, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a good okay. deal. It's a good deal. And now, with my three ounces of crushed pepper, I delicately spread it across my photogenic New York strip loins. I see you're watching food channels to prepare. Yep. 
Are you learning a lot? Yep. Do you have any chance in hell at replicating anything that you're seeing? Nope. Okay. Coming up next, cakes that look like pizzas, followed by pizzas that look like tacos, and finally tacos that look like cakes. How am I getting less hungry watching this channel? Today's the big day, class. I hope you have your cake ideas ready. I spent all night prepping for this. Okay, just remember your cake has to be chocolate, right? What? Is that part of the rules? Well, no, but you want to win, don't you? I don't know. Chocolate is quite predictable. Listen, there's predictable, and then there's chocolate. What does that even mean? Guys, get out of my head. You're psyching me out. Okay, look, relax, relax. I'm not trying to psych you out. I'm just saying, if it comes to a vote and it's not chocolate, I have no problem throwing you under the bus. Oh, uh, come on. I'm just saying. Get out of here before you blow something up. Okay, let the cook-off begin. Hi, are they almost done already? What, you were gone? <laughs> You stayed? Well, don't you want to learn something? It's why we're here. I'd rather watch golf in slow motion on a Game Boy screen with the batteries dead and I'm blind. Ugh, well, don't expect me to make you any food. How do you see anyway? With my eyes, you dork. Ugh. Okay, you two, time is up. Let's see your results. Very impressive. Looks like some kind of velvet chocolate. Nice. And we have a monster monkey thing? I call it, uh, Choco Kong. Ooh, very creative. Ah, but what do we have here? Something very different. Mine's a refreshing lime butterscotch with just the right amount of nuclear radiation. You also did a monster cake? Ah, he screwed up. He should have done a zesty lime butterscotch. No, no, hold on. The dough comes down to the taste. Well, I've tasted them both. While I can see both of them having their fans, there's just so much more warmth and emotion in the eyes of Choco Kong than this lizard beast. Uh, I have to declare the winner as Choco Kong. What? You mean I won? Uh, yeah, told you, told you he said I went with chocolate. Oh, I forgot to mention, losing a cook-off is an indelible mark on your record. But that's not fair. Cooking's my whole life. Okay, class, dismissed. See you next time. Oh. Hey, man, no hard feelings. It's just a silly cook-off. Easy for you to say. Cooking's my whole life. Are you trying to be a career chef? No, man. <laughs> that figures. I'm never going to make it. I should just give up. Dude, I'd hire you. Oh, yeah. For what? No, really. We'd be delighted to have you at our palace. Your palace? <laughs> so then the doctor says, how did the golf ball get up there in the first place? <laughs> and the golfer says, it was a hole-in-one. <laughs> okay, I need to tell you something. What? Stop coming up with jokes. Why? What? Stop what it. are you talking about? They're terrible. They're pretty bad, man. They're awful jokes. If they're so bad, then how come every time I post them online, someone's like, ah, oh, that's very funny, slash S, or... Greatest joke ever, slash S. Yeah, man, the or, slash S is sarcasm. People still do that? Yeah, how did you not know that? Well, our new chef finds my jokes funny, doesn't huh. he? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> They're okay. Oh, and by the way, the feast was great. Thank you. Super good. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Hey, what's your name, anyway? Bob. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Okay, have I got a joke for you? It has your name in it, okay? A man with no legs or arms gets lost at sea. Uh-huh. Look, sorry guys, I like cooking for you and all, but this isn't gonna work out. What do you mean? People just don't like putting up with lame jokes when they're servers. Uh, I'm sorry. W wait a second. Uh oh, he's a goner. Uh, now, why does this keep happening? Why can't these chefs get a sense of humor? What do you mean keeps hopping? Oh, here we go. I bet you're gonna blame Sherman quitting on me too, huh? Was Sherman the name of the last chef? <laughs> Are you sure, man? <laughs> Are you the reason he quit? I'm not sure, man. <laughs> you realize this means we are literally starving because of his bad jokes. Going back to cooking class. But, uh, come on, guys. Come on. Ah, uh, fine. I'm gonna go make some dessert. No, no wait.